Hello, fellow Albrightians. I miss seeing each and every one of you on our campus. And even though our Albright campus is beautiful in spring, it's just not the same without all our students, faculty, and staff who bring such vibrancy to our campus. So today I thought I would take a few moments instead of sending the requisite email to send you a video message. I want to start by saying that it is Brian's and my hope that you and your loved ones are safe and healthy during this difficult time. I'd like to take a moment for us to consider our current situation. Yes, we are in the middle of a global pandemic crisis, something none of us would ever have thought we would live for, something we would never have wished for. It's a moment in history that will be defined by a before and an after. So let's take a moment to consider this moment in time and consider our situation. This is, if you've looked at the history of the pandemic of 1918, the fear, the stress, the anxiety that we are all feeling is typical of a pandemic. We're feeling stress for ourselves, fear for our health and safety, and fear for our community. Worried about the future of Albright, worried about our students, worried about our coworkers. And this just names a few of the fears, stressors, and anxieties that each of us are dealing with. So how do we deal with that anxiety and with that fear? I'll tell you what I do. I try to focus on what it is that I can control. What is it that we know and what can we actually do? First, I emphasize, take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves, take care of your families, take care of your loved ones. Second, let's take a moment in time to appreciate and recognize what we have. Recognize and appreciate the good work of our essential staff who are keeping our community, our Albright campus safe during this critical time. I wanna recognize that we're working from home. I'm gonna put working from home in quotes and I'm gonna to touch on it later. And fourth, as an Albright community, we're planning for the future. We're focusing on those next realistic steps that will help us get to our next stage of Albright's growth. I've heard this phrase, in the last two weeks, I've heard this phrase over and over and over, I'm working from home. But let's admit it, you are not working from home. You are working at home during a pandemic crisis. You are trying to keep, you're worried about your family, you're trying to keep yourself and your family and your community safe, and at the same time, you're doing your job to help our stu students succeed and to help Albright move into the future. Just those things, working to keep yourself and your family healthy, worrying about your, your future and your community safety, working to do your job, working to move our students forward. Those are multiple full-time jobs and you're trying to do it all. So for these multiple full-time jobs, I wanna thank you. I've heard the stories from so many of our students about the, how you have positively impacted them, how you're reaching out to engage them, you're helping them to succeed in the classroom, you're helping them think about the next stage in their career, you're working to help their mental health and their, their, you're worried about their families and their friends. You are reaching out as the Albright community that we are. The Albright community is really standing up and standing out during this time. There is so much creativity that each and every one of us have brought to this situation. And I wanna thank you for your good work to make our community better and safer, both now and in the future. I wanna take one brief moment to re recognize a good message that came from Professor Ingram Wallace about mental health and wellness during this time. And that is about where it continues to be about the working from home. I've learned in particular how important it is to find that place for work and to separate it from the rest of the home life. In the beginning, I was working from the kitchen and I realized quickly, actually it took me about two weeks, that I couldn't turn it off, that I was working way too late in the night and that was not healthy for me. We've moved my, my office to a, to a small table in the spare bedroom and now I'm working very hard to separate that work life and I wanna encourage you to do the same. 
find that place to work and at the end of the workday leave it and move into the rest of your house. I encourage you to consider that working from home recognizes that you have multiple jobs, full-time jobs, and that the impact of this pandemic is having on all of us. I want to end on one final note. What is it that we're doing as Albright as an institution? How do we move forward and will we survive as an institution at this time? The one thing that I'm certain of is that Albright, we as a community have survived many crises. We've lived through moments and the lion spirit has kept us strong and today will be no different. We're focusing on being realistic and being honest. We are working together to do the very next right thing, focusing and guided by our institutional core values and priorities. And we will identify those things we can control and work to make each one better. Fellow Albrightians, be safe and well during this difficult and trying pandemic time. And I very much look forward to seeing each and every one of you back on campus when it is safe and time allows us to be together again. Be well, thank you.